Well, I'm a consultant physician, so you know, I'm like all the other physicians in healthcare. You know, I try and care about patients. But then in 1984, I became aware of this discipline called clinic health information management or health informatics. It is the timely, reliable, complete information of the patient care interface. We know it works. We know it reduces errors. We know it improves outcomes. We know it facilitates research. It improves epidemiology and reduces the cost of healthcare, reduces errors, produces better patient outcomes. One model of that system has been implemented here, but more importantly, we took that knowledge and implemented it in Africa, where there are no resources, you know, no reliable electricity, no paper, the greatest epidemic in the history of mankind, 45 million people with HIV AIDS, and these people had never seen a computer before. By involving them in the process, you know, the concept of teaching them how to fish rather than just feed them, they now run the largest, uh, what, what is defined as an electronic record system in the world for the management of HIV in developing nations. And when we went there, we knew there was a 14% prevalence of HIV. In this small electronic record system after two years, we had 60,000 patient visits. The project is not just for cumulative data and outputs in that, which is a byproduct of the patient care process. So, uh, in fact, we have this saying, a lot of people see medicine as a business. For clinical informaticians, we see our business is clinical medicine. And while you try to build a system as for healthcare as a business, these systems are going to fail, and we know that's been reproduced with losses of millions and millions and millions of dollars throughout the world. But those systems built for the patient care process, where everything, all other data comes as a byproduct of that, they have been shown to improve the care process. It's so fundamental to making my health care process better if I have information at my fingertips, timely, reliable, and complete, that I can access 24 hours a day, seven days a week, wherever I am in the world. That's what's important. But more importantly, the most important driver of this has to be the patient. You know, we, we assume patients uh, don't have the knowledge and information management we have. Well, what do you do to the diabetic who takes insulin and lives on their own and the semi-blind and got arthritis? You know, do we live in their house and adjust their insulin every day, three times a day? No. Give the patient the information and they manage it beautifully. Yeah. It's uh, quite inspirational. In fact, I did a small trial in Launceston Hospital where 17% of my patients who have emailed their sugars are over 65 years of age. And in a place like Tasmania, this is ideal because five minutes out of Launceston, you're in the bush. So if you're 80 kilometres away and you need an appointment with me and you're old or 60 or 70 or just getting there, these patients email. We do it real time. Yeah. The patient carries their record with them.